Good morning, students. Welcome once more in the class of grammar. This is the second video of grammar, and I am teaching you this time pronouns. I already introduced you last day, the last video, pronouns, and I explained you its four kinds. I already taught you what is pronoun and four kinds of it were explained last day with examples. I am sure you should have learned and you must be practicing them. Some exercises that was given in the book that also I think I, you must have done in the book. And proceeding to next, what is next to a study? That is today we shall learn next part of demonstrative pronouns. Next part of pronouns and that is what? There are 10 kinds of pronouns. As already I had introduced you that. Out of the 10, I had explained you the 4 kinds of pronouns. That was personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, reflexive pronouns and emphatic pronouns. I had explained you last day. I am sure you must be remembering and proceeding to next, let's go to fifth part that is demonstrative pronouns. Fifth part I have written here, demonstrative pronouns. What is demonstrative pronouns? The pronouns, please you listen carefully, the pronouns that is used to point out at people or things that are near or far from us. The most stative pronouns are the pronouns which are used to point out at the people or the things which are near or far from us. So, and the most stative pronouns are also used to introduce people. So, let us see here examples. Through examples, you can understand it better. You see, first, those are your books. Here in this sentence, those are your books. What is pronoun here? Those. Those are your books. This is a gift from my father. This is a gift from my father. This. Here, that we are showing. This is here what? Near to me only, in my hand. Or very close to us. Very near to us. In that case, this is used. Those are your books. Means, those is here used as a pronoun to show there are some books which are really far from us. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let us see. Both cars are good. Both cars are good. But this is better than that. Both cars are good. But this is better than that. This and that in this sentence are demonstrative pronouns. This shows here particular that is very close and that means which is far from that. So this here, this and that are demonstrative pronoun in this sentence. Here you see sixth one, distributive pronoun. Distri beauty pronouns. Fifth one was demonstrative and then is distri beauty pronouns. What are distributive pronouns? That you see, distributive pronouns are used to refer to people or things taken one at a time. Let me repeat once more. Distributive pronouns are used to refer people or things taken one at a time. And they take always singular form. Distributive pronoun always take singular form, not plural. You see here, the example. Either of these roads leads to the railway station. Either. Here, this word that is either in this sentence is distributive pronouns. Either of these roads. Means there are many roads. There are many roads. Means any one road you take, 
that leads to the railway station. So it is a referring to here one, there, this one, either, which there are many, roads are many here to go to railway station. So either roads, any one that you take, leads to the railway station. Here you see, each of the boys gets a prize. Each of the boys gets a prize. See here, each. The word each here in this sentence is distributive pronoun. Each of the men. There you see, neither of the statements is true. Neither of the statements is true. Means so many statements are made. But no statement is true. No statement is correct. Here, neither is used for one. Singular, not for plural. Either is used for singular, not for plural. Just one. So is each. Here. Next we see. Each of the, each of the men received the reward. Each of the men received a reward. You can see here, the word each is demo, here distributed pronoun in this sentence. Like that you proceed to next one. What is that? Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite. You can better understand what is here the word indefinite. Opposite of definite, indefinite. So it is here the definition you can define that in definite pronouns refer to pronouns or things uh, in a general, in a general, not any particular, not to indi indicate any particular, okay, not it refers any particular or a specific person or a specific thing, that is called indefinite pronoun, that's why it is already termed as indefinite pronoun, indefinite pronouns refer to the person or things Oh, in general, in common, not to any specific, not to any particular. Here, let us see examples. Some milk was spilled. Some milk was spilled. You can see here and easily you can identify the pronoun. Some in this sentence. Some milk was spilled. One must not praise one's self. One must not praise one's self. Here, yeah, what is a pronoun? One. One must not. They all are indefinite. It is not showing any particular person, not a specific person. Here, yeah, some milk was still not particular milk, not a specific milk. Many of them were well prepared. Many of them. There are many, word, many, many of them were well prepared. These all underlined pronouns are indefinite pronouns. They all are indefinite pronouns because they do not refer any particular or any specific person or a specific thing. And that's why they are named as indefinite pronouns. So a number of examples are here that you can see and on basis of just you can do several exercises that is there in the book. Here proceeding next one students, next one. What's that? Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative as the term is what? Interrogative. You have already read. Interrogative means question. Interrogative term is question. So, interrogative pronouns are used to ask question. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask question. They are pronouns and they are asked to use question. Like, you can just really see, who are these books? Who are you? What would you like to take? What are Huh, the kinds of films that you like. Here, what, whose, who, all these are interrogative pronouns. Because they ask questions in these sentences. Here, so these are interrogative pronouns. So students, here the pronouns you have today 
see in a two day learn that is demonstrative pronouns then is distributive pronouns then is indefinite pronouns all the definitions are explained are given in the book in the same way in some other way so you must write the definitions and learn them again and again with several examples and at the same time you must give your own examples not the examples given there that is enough you give your own examples to satisfy yourself to check yourself that you are able to identify you can really speak using these uh, pronouns in the sentences and you can detect what kind of pronouns you are using in the sentences so as students these were the pronouns and rest what is here left we shall discuss the next day so on basis of that you will do the exercises that is exercise b in exercise b you have been given the question fill in the blanks with the appropriate pronouns and then identify the pronouns as a reflexive pronouns or emphatic pronouns first you have to underline air use the proper pronouns what will be the proper pronouns to be filled but in all these blanks will be either reflexive or emphatic only only uh, reflexive or emphatic pronouns can only be filled in this these exercises that is here exercise b all the questions that is 1 to 12 and after filling you all identify right here in the box that is given at the last of the sentence the pronoun you have used in the sentence is reflexive or emphatic for reflexive pronoun you write in the box r and for emphatic pronoun you write in the box e that is the abbreviated form very first letter of uh, that pronoun and you may now use exercise c also as this is here based on demonstrative pronouns you should fill in the blanks with the proper and appropriate demonstrative pronouns in these sentences here one two just five questions are here five exercises let us see my dear d exercise fill in the blanks with the appropriate distributive pronouns in exercise d you have to fill in the blanks with appropriate distributive pronouns here from question 1 to 10 and i am sure you will do you will be able to do i will discuss you next day your exercises how you have done and then we shall finish all this one here. you will confirm how you have done what you have done whether that's right or wrong you will just do that so please students you have done this one and i am sure that you will learn them you will write their definitions in the copy as you are doing the pronouns so you will write them and when we shall finish all you must have the collection of 1 to 10 all pronouns their definitions with examples and even the exercises that you are given to do in the book you will do in the book and the exercises that you have to do in copy that is also mentioned in the work homework which we send every third day that is the period of grammar so you will complete them in the book and copy both thank you very much joining the class thank you